The solution for the cylindrical capacitor is shown here, and if you believe you got the solution correct or nearly correct, you can just pause the video here and take a look at the solution and maybe quickly pick out what you need to see. And if you continue to listen on, I will quickly go through our complete derivation. So the cylindrical capacitor has an inner solid cylinder, so I'm going to zoom in here now, has an inner solid cylinder, it's positively charged, and the outer cylinder is a cylindrical shell where all of the negative charge is not really drawn in neatly here, but all the negative charge is going to be pulled to the inner surface. So that's why when we do our limits of integration, we're only going to the inner surface because that's where all the charge resides, E equals zero inside the metal of the conductor. And A, of course, is the radius out to the central wire. Our Gaussian surface goes in between the positive and the negative charge. It's a cylinder coaxial, so we've seen this before. The electric field points radially out like the spokes on a, on a wheel. The N hat for the shell points radially out, so that's our cosine of zero degrees that we have shown here. Our Q enclosed equals all of it, so that's the Q all of it here. Uh, by symmetry, we would expect the electric field on the shell to be constant, to not be different anywhere on the shell. So that's why the E comes out, constant on the shell by symmetry. Uh, the area of the shell is 2 pi r. Script L is the length of the shell. So actually this L should be a script L. And we have our electric field around the central wire. So the E equals 1 on 2 pi epsilon naught Q on script L, 1 on R. We are going to substitute that into our delta V. We're going to do the same thing with our integration. Our limits, our final is, our final is at A. Our initial is B, so we're integrating backwards against the electric field, the DS is of course equal to the negative dr when we substitute it in here. Those two negatives make the positive. We're left with an additional uh, cosine of 180 here because we're integrating backwards. So that cosine, that, that negative is this negative. And we are left to integrate a 1 on r dr. So everything else comes out. Right, this is all constant that comes out of our integral. So one on R dr is natural log of R final minus initial, but we have our two negatives here, right? So we have negative distributes through, which makes this a negative, and this one becomes a positive. So we get our voltage expression here. And we will do the same thing we have been doing. We will take our voltage and plug it into the C equals Q on V. We lose the Qs. We do a little bit of algebra, and we get our capacitance. So it takes a little bit of getting used to for how these derivations are done, but hopefully you can see it's really a recurring theme. Uh, it does utilize a number of chapters and a number of concepts and calculations, so it often appears as a test question. And I will zoom out here again for you to pause the video and, of course, ask questions if you have them.